Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're all taking care of yourselves. Got a bit of an unusual upload here. We're going to check it out, see how it goes. So this is a game called Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars is a turn-based RPG inspired by the classics. It tells the story of two children of the Solstice who will combine the powers of the sun and the moon to perform eclipse magic. The only force capable of fending off the monstrous creations of the evil alchemist known as the Fleshmancer. Now that's the description on Steam, in case you were wondering. So we are back here, and we're going to go ahead and give this game a little go. We're going to see how, what happens. Time to stop for a snack. So basically what's happened up until this point, we ran through the tutorial, did a basics of the fighting uh they get to a point where they're like oh we miss our friend and their friend is uh the fellow in the orange there sandwich it is a completely text-based game uh it looks neat so we're gonna play it here and we'll see what we think i haven't played it at all except for coming up to this point but Thus far, it seems neat. So we're going to check it out. It's pretty neat, though. Uh, I was playing it a little bit the other day. Only, like I said, the tutorial went up to this point. And uh, it looks interesting. We'll see how it goes. I read really fast as well, so I apologize if you guys don't have enough time to read whatever's popping up on the screen. Huh? So this is like a forbidden door type time uh oh forbidden so we are gonna go ahead and turn down our music volume a bit here just so we can hear ourselves talk so essentially what happens now is you kind of just explore around and uh, oh, well, you look for enemies to fight. Uh oh, it's about to get wicked. His eye! <laughs> My eye! <laughs> Kid just lost his eye. Ah. Ugh. Roasted. Oof. Yep. So that's how they lost their friend. Those two got uh brought into the like little academy, the Warriors Academy. Huh? 
Oh, man. Oh. Kids are finding out the hard way. <laughs> Life sucks sometimes, man. <laughs> just the way she rolls. I mean, from what I've seen so far, the story looks really neat. Uh, there is no mouse use, really, which is fine. But uh, the game's supposed to be like a RPG-esque type of time, so we're gonna see what's up with this. Just some dialogue here. Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. He's just gonna throw us off. You fly or you die. Innate magic. They have no idea how much potential they have. Naturally. <laughs> Sewing? Magic piece of fabric. Years of sewing. <laughs> Training room. Dormitories. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you are ready. Why does it sound like I'm running around in like wet socks? Where's this go? Alright, let's go talk to this lady. So everybody's been expecting us to be here. We haven't. The head mage is like, oh, they have great potential, so. We'll give it a save here. I like the little saves and the like effects and stuff like that are pretty neat. Oops. I'll take this one, I guess.
the next morning in the training room. <laughs> oh, special first day. laps <laughs> I'm fast as fuck boy <sighs> drinking some water On the terrace. Where's the terrace? Maybe it's down here? Oh, yep, I was right. Happens every once in a while. The sewing kit? <laughs> well, I'm bored. Interesting. What are we doing here? Sewing basics. Alright, so is there anything up this way, or is this just a dead end type time? Let's try going to sleep. Let's see if that does anything. No, we can't sleep, so I reckon we have to go out.
We gotta join him for something called the cleansing. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Faster! Mm. So we can only hurt dwellers in a total eclipse. Uh oh, drama. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd be mad as fuck if somebody woke me up to go check out a noise that had, didn't innately scare me. I'd be angry about it. What do you mean go check out a noise in the dark on a floating magical island? How about no? Oh, man. Their friend is a... Oh, gee. Dude came up. They snuck up there, dropped off cookies, got caught, and said, I'll get y'all. <laughs> I'll be back. And so they trained and they sewed for years. And then they trained and they sewed some more. Very sing song. Until one day. Dude's out here doing one armed push ups, just built different. <laughs> Go talk to the headmaster. Oh, man, no more sewing. Burgraves and uh, Merlina or whatever her name is. Erlina. <laughs> Oopsie. If you review the basics of combat, check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. 
Yeah, let's go over combat basics real quick because I'm a little rusty. All of your party members are on cooldown, the run resets, and they all become available again. timing you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits let's see it as the hit connects you increase your damage oh so you can hurt yourself by doing it oh how many times can you do that It's a welcome addition. Ooh, so we can time our hits to do more damage. Proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. I think I missed. Too late. That's hard, man. That's really difficult. Wow. <laughs> The game's really cool and the tutorials and building you up, so that's pretty neat. Oh god. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Valer returns. Mm. Trying to get those blocks is real difficult. Basics of magic. Getting the double hits is a little bit easier. That's crazy. I like that too. <laughs> Moonerang is pretty cool. There's one comment on Steam that it says, I love this game just because of the Moonerang, and that was pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty hype. I dig that. So you get magic points back by attacking. VXP. 
experiment. Keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Combo! Teach you more combos with scrolls. Ooh, we like that. So as you can see here, this is our little menu. We've got some stuff for like equipment. And we've got some various skills. Yeah, we're ready, old man. We're taking the vows of the Templar Order. We sail. Fuck. <laughs> I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, Blade Dancer. monk Ooh. three tomato club Assassin's Creed. We should explore a little bit before I go all crazy with it, I reckon. Ornate stone. Bugs. Just want to see if there's anything over this way before I uh, get ahead of myself. We don't want to miss any items or anything. I was trying to sneak up on him. Wrecked. Ooh, I got it! <laughs> yeah! That was cool. I dig it. Uh, we want to go left. Oh, we want to go up. Well, can we go left or right? Is there anything back here? No. All right then. Up it is. Come along now. Looks like we got a little jump puzzle. All right. And we are looking for a little chest. Very carefully, we'll come across. Okay. Uh, three this time. Uh-oh. That was a hit. It's hard to get the, the block timing right. Oh, 
Aww. Oh, man. Might need to do something about our health, but we'll see. Going to the caverns, it sounds like. Uh oh. Exam mode engaged. I didn't see what the weakness was. Locked it. Lock that too. <laughs> Yeah, you can switch. Okay. It's pretty sick. <laughs> Block it. Him. Taught him about these hands. Ooh, level up time. What do we got here? I kind of want to say let's do. I like this arcadey thing first off. I kind of want to say let's do defense. Get our defense up a little bit more. So we can tank a little bit. And then for her, we're probably going to do. Ooh, I kind of wish we would have got these for him. Or maybe maybe she's supposed to be the tank. Toss it into attack. Been trained. Return to your headmaster. Alright. We've learned everything Zenimith, Zenith, Zenimith, ooh, had to teach you. Ha! We did it! In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. It's on special days, such as this one, that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Carl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Zale and Valer, Valerie, Valerie, were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Grand was so happy to get to meet two or more before she passed. I miss Grand. 
All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Zale and Valerie, step forward so the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the solstice warriors. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Lots of lots of dialogue going on here. So there's some kind of subplot going on between Brewgraves and uh, Erlina. Having to do with the headmaster and us being forced to do this. Hooray! To the gate! Fingers and toes. <sighs> Tomato clubs. Amulet of Storytelling. Sequent Flare. First two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu to adjust your experience. Interesting. So relics are essentially game modifiers. For merchants, selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. Now wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. So I, I guess that these two want, uh... Don't want me to fight, or don't want the group there to fight the uh, dweller so soon. After completing training... Which, I mean, I guess in a sense makes some sense. I guess in a sense it makes sense. Yeah, for real. But, uh, I guess that... We'll see. May you cleanse this world. Oh, God. Ooh, there's a chest right there. Hold on, hold the phone, pause. Go back. I saw that. All right. So we go to our forbidden cavern. Do we give it a save? Let's give it a save. Sure feels easier now. <laughs> no, we just go. I was going to try and be sneaky and walk all the way back, but there's no point. Let's just go in. I'm sure we'll have to return there at some point. There's all kinds of little paths, it looks like. Blocked it. Oh. All right. Let's hit him with a. Yeah, we like that. Nice. Ooh, we got some loot from that, it looks like. Yeah, tomato. Also, we need to, uh... 
Do we have some skill points or something? That's pretty cool too. So we got some passive heals. An auto heal after combat. Blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback or while closing in on the mastery of certain moves. So I don't think that we'll do either of those. I just kind of don't feel like it's necessary at the moment. Okay. Don't know how that one works, but we'll figure it out. I didn't forget about that chest. Adventurer's vest, huh? Can't put it on yet. So we gotta wait on that one a little bit. So it doesn't look like there's any way to really sneak the, uh... Couldn't block it. I think we managed to dodge that a little bit. Cleared them out with a little bit of ease. We got hit a few times, and we probably could have negated some damage here or there. Interesting. Out of reach for now. Let's go over this way. Interesting. Forbidden cavern key. Wow. <laughs> nope, go down. All right. I like the puzzles. The puzzles are pretty neat. Items. Mushroom soup. Zale and Valerie learned combo skill, mending light. Shiny pearl. That's some cash for us, I take it. I see what's going on here. Use this thing to cross this. That's a pretty good one. Valuable meant to be sold. 30 adventures agree. This vest is the best. <laughs> That's good. Blocked it. I missed the, I missed that one. Okay. 
We're getting, this is some, some pretty neat fights, I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a pretty good time. And I wasn't sure if I would, but uh, I am. <laughs> But uh, if you're looking for like an RPG top-down arcadey type deal, this is pretty snazzy. Let's have a save. Have a rest. Should have saved the food bin, huh? Oh well. We got something going on. Is this the mist? Oh, that's wicked. Alright then. I see so I had another thing that uh, popped up there as well destroyed blocked <laughs> right, we were able to drop the power down a little bit You thought, big fella. Do we wait and try and set? No, we do this one. What a jerk. <laughs> There it is. So if you time that one right, you get a uh, you get a pretty decent damage modifier. It looks like. I don't know how that works. I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh. Oof. This one's gonna be bad. Not sure how that one works either, but we're uh, we're figuring it out. Nice. We got two. Oh, that just restores it. Well, we can do that. That was pretty sick. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay. Let's hit it with another moon ring. Sick with it, huh? Bro, I really need you to just stop. Oh no. Oh.
Moon ring it is. Whoa. <laughs> it's getting a little risky. You know what I'm saying? It's getting a little a little sketch. Because I, I can't tell how strong this thing is. Uh, so we're actually just going to hit it with a normal attack. I kind of want to give her a heal. I guess it's a good thing we skipped the heal, huh? First boss done. That was a pretty good time. Both have levels up. I'm trying to see how to uh, heal us up here. Can we go down here? Yeah, we can go down here. What you got? 60 gold. Excellent. Adventures vest. Now both of them can have an adventures vest. That's a good kit. Or at least better kit. <laughs> We're supposed to go this way. <laughs> Doors open. Let's see what we got. Nothing that way. Had to pop the shortcut, you know what I'm saying? The four. Things are starting to move. These guys are creepy, huh? Did we go to the fish place? I did read in the uh, description that you can fish, so... Equip stuff now. You know what, though? I feel like she should have that ring. Adventure's vest. Left control is back. All right. So we do have some a sword and a staff here. I'm tempted to pick up. There's our first pieces of equipment there. We are just going to clean up the rest of our gold here by buying some stuff. Fish caught a lunar trout. I'll fillet it. Why wouldn't I?
So essentially, the fishing's pretty fun. Uh, when it pops out of the water like that, you gotta hit it with another space bar to stun it. Come here, you. I'm seeing some other things in the water. Oh. <laughs> He's a strong one. What is this? <laughs> a man of war. Flay it. We'll take another linear fish. Fishing's pretty, uh, it's pretty all right. I had a pretty good time. We'll release that one. That was fun. Let's, can we sell that for anything, I wonder? one gold apiece, but I bet you if we find somewhere to cook it, we can, uh, make something pretty nifty. I wonder if there's anything back there, though. Oh, there's something. Five dairy. Look at that. So I hope that there's more than just this uh, fishing spot, to be honest. I really hope that there's more than just that fishing spot, because that is a pretty nifty type of time. So we're going to come out this way. I th I'm thinking it wants us to go in the tunnel, but we're going to go see what this door is about first. Solstice Shrine. We'll head there. But folks, looks like we're getting a uh, about an hour in. I think we're going to cut this one here. Uh, we'll probably do a couple more episodes of this because it's pretty neat. It's a pretty fun time. So I'll see you guys in the next one.